Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. On this segment, I want to comment on um, the news that was trending this week, which is that uh, Ufei Thinketi's husband, Umzuzo Njilo, of Njilo Tracking and Logistics, and his acquaintance, Ukwanda Njangase, of Mgazi, um holdings uh which does also logistics and security uh services uh were set were said uh to be fugitives allegedly apparently according to a few posts and publications that i read um, the pair were approached by two business women who were looking to purchase a truck from them. And these women did their due diligence, checked, um, did their truck inspections and checked the papers and all that. Once they were satisfied, they paid the monies over to Unzuzonjilo, of which right after they paid the monies, Unzuzo, Unzuzo proceeded to empty the bank account that the ladies paid uh, their monies into, of which the ladies paid in two installments, of which even that uh, makes me wonder, why did you make two installments without getting the truck? Wasn't it going to be wiser for them to collect the truck upon paying the balance? But then what do I know? I'm not into it tracking and i've never purchased something that i and paid something that i did not have on hand so i won't know but then however these ladies um once they paid zuzunjilo um emptied the bank account and that was the last time the ladies saw of unzuzo jilo let's remember that this case is on the back of the case that was brought forward um, for Unzuzo Njilo, whereby Unzuzo Njilo uh, was reported to allegedly being sued by two businessmen who gave him close to a million rand. Gave him close to a million to deliver copper to them. Copper, which never materialized. And once they, su they sued him, uh, the court um, froze, declared that his accounts should be frozen and his assets be attached and the monies be paid over to the businessmen. However, the assets that were said to be recovered uh, from Nzizo were said to be only estimating up to 35,000 rands. I was gonna go crazy because even when I saw it, I, I was like, I ain't got What am I supposed to do with 35,000 versus 1 million rand? But then, however, it is what it is. Apparently, um, as it was reported, uh, I think City Press was the one who was covering uh, that one. Um, only 35,000 rand was recovered from um, uh, the movable assets that were attached. However, um, the frozen bank accounts um, total sum was not disclosed in the publications that I read. So, Ufei Thinketzi all over the week was out there uh, pledging her support for her husband and stating that she loves her husband and stands by her husband. Whereas the father, on the other hand, um, uh, said that he is shocked He's very shocked at the allegations that he's that are le leveled against his son. However, he has not seen his son in quite a while. Dogo Dogo now recently 
the lawyer is now out there also having given um an interview to um a publication i just forgot which publication i saw it on and the lawyer is stating that this is nothing all this that we experienced this whole week this case about this women in particular who have who happens to have bought a truck from Unzuzunjilo. All that is just a public stunt. All this is a public stunt. And um, according to that news report, the lawyer is saying that um, it is saying that uh, you know there's a fine line between a business transaction and fraud. I don't know what the fun line is. It's either the women got the truck or did not get the truck. It's either that Zuzon Gilo um, emptied the bank account immediately and closed it or he didn't. I don't know where the fine line is there because the information is what the police is claiming happened. However, the lawyer is saying, however, the lawyer is claiming that Everything that uh, South Africa witnessed this week is nothing but a public stunt on um, the part of the police and is very unfortunate because everything is a lie. And um, Unzu Zonjilo has been in communication with the police all along and the police know exactly where to find Unzu Zonjilo because he is in communication with them uh, all the way and there's no need for them to search for him. And uh, Unzu Zonjilo is said to be handing himself over to the police on Monday and that was a standing arrangement while uh, we were told that he's a fugitive. There was already a standing arrangement uh, between... Um, Nzuzo's lawyer, the lawyer, and the police that Nzuzo Jilo will be uh, availing himself to the police on Monday. So, based on that, the police says, how, um, the lawyer is saying, how is he a fugitive when actually the, we have an agreement with the police that Unzuzo Njilo will be availing himself. We have an appointment with them for Monday. And the reason we are having um, a, an appointment with them on Monday is for Nzuzo to hand himself over so that we can get the bail. And I'm... Com I'm highly confident that Unzu Zonjilo is going to get um, the bail because if I if I was not sure, if I was not certain, which is also a funny part for me, would it, it's either, because uh, the way it's written, it's as if the lawyer is saying that it's also arranged that Unzuzo will go in a bail, will be had, there'll be a bail hearing of which it will have a positive income and it will come out like it will be just a formality. And because the way he's saying it is like, no, the reason that he's going there is because um, he has to hand himself over so that we can have a bail hearing and bring him back. Because otherwise, I will not have made uh, that arrangement with the police if I was not certain that he will get the bail. And I was like, oh, okay. So if you were of the perception that uh, he will be reminded behind bars um, till such time that his case can be heard in court, then you will advise them to rather run because oh, that statement i just did not get yeah it kind of confuses me you know unless if it was reported out of text somehow i believe it was reported out of text because i don't think that someone especially a lawyer can be that blunt however he is also claiming that um the the police are doing this uh, cheap public stunt only because 
Um, Zuzonjilo is um, the son of the former mayor of one of the municipalities in KwaZulu Natal, Utembanjilo. So then he's trying to paint a narrative that this is a ploy to embarrass or discredit the father with the son. So angazmi. Angazi, because, you know, I'm kind of disappointed only because, you know, it seems like every time we see um, successful businessmen or women, um, irrespective of color for me, it seems like it's either they made their spoils from criminal activity or... But when it seems like no one makes their money just by toiling hard, of which makes me wonder what is the hope for any of us who are not interested in ukutwala or crime. If you really want to make an honest living, can you really make it? I wonder. Because it seems like everybody in jail. You know, from when 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 you you are out there and you're just looking at these media reports that are coming out, it will seem like no man, Tina, we're doing it wrong. Angazi, can you please comment down below and tell me what's your take? um on all of this see you in the next video love you lots